Well, if you subscribe to the Nintendo Switch online service, uh, one of the perks, uh, and I, I say that loosely because this isn't something that I feel like should be exclusive to that, but whatever. Uh, one of the perks of being uh, a member of the Nintendo Switch Online service is that you get access to being able to order these. And for those of you that are not uh, watching the video, I am holding up my Nintendo Switch with the uh, NES controller Joy-Cons attached on the side, which is just a ridiculous looking thing. It looks really stupid, but at the same time, I think it looks really cool, too. Uh, I don't know how something can look stupid and cool at the same time, but apparently it can. Um, these work exactly like Joy-Cons. They've got a button on the back, which you can press in and take off. And then it it looks exactly like a, a an old NES controller, but it has a rail for docking on the top. It's got little lights so you can... Uh, see which player you are. Um, and then it, it also has L and R buttons on the very top, which are really, they're really only used for like menu navigation in, in NES online stuff uh, on the Nintendo Switch, which my wife and I tested this extensively last night. We, uh, we decided that instead of uh, watching a show, which usually my wife and I will go to bed and we'll like watch one show, one TV show, and then go to sleep. And instead, we fired up Dr. Mario, her favorite game, and she continued, uh, or she proceeded to destroy me at that game over and over and over again because she is much, much better than I am at it. Uh, these are really, really cool. I think, I mean, these feel fantastic. I think that they feel better than the NES controllers that come with the NES Classic. I feel like the buttons are a little bit clickier. Like you can you can hear the buttons there. Um, the I, I it, it's just it works really good. There's absolutely zero uh, latency. I have a RetroPie, and I ended up buying the 8-bit dough Bluetooth controllers because our TV, like our bed's on one side of the room, our TV's on the other side of the room, and we wanted to be able to play games like Dr. Mario without draping wires across the room so that the cats would be like, oh, look, something to chew on. Uh, so I ended up buying the 8-bit dough controllers, and that did not work because there, there was just too much input lag with the Bluetooth. And I don't say that that is the fault of 8-bit dough. I, I, I have read someplace that that is really more along the lines of a problem with the RetroPie. There's just not enough power for it to do everything it needs to do and run the Bluetooth at the same time. So um, a lot of times they'll be like, make sure you shut this off and shut that off if you're going to have Bluetooth on. And it just seemed like too much of a hassle, so I returned them. Um, Using these with the Nintendo Switch is so much easier, especially because, you know, I've got a dock in here that I use whenever I'm streaming uh, my Nintendo Switch. We've got a dock downstairs that came with my son's Nintendo Switch that uh, we use if we're playing anything downstairs on the big TV. And then my wife and I have a, a dock in the bedroom. So if like she's sitting there reading a book or something, I can play up on the TV and whenever I would bring the retro pie into the other room, I would have to unhook something from HDI and HDMI and then plug it in and then drape the cords across. It was such a hassle. And now all I got to do is grab the Nintendo Switch, walk into the other room, slap it into the dock, grab these controllers, and my wife and I can play Dr. Mario together. And it's really fun. And I, I, I'm hoping that we get more puzzle games. In fact... I, I recently tried out um, Lola. What was it? Was um, what is the name of it? Lola, Lo, uh, the Adventures of Lolo. I think that's the name of it. It's a new. It's a new game. Well, not new. It's one of the the NES games for this month. Is the Adventures of Lolo? I tried that out. That was pretty cool. And then I tried Wario's Woods, which I had no idea was a puzzle game. 
I don't know if it has multiplayer or not. I'm definitely going to check into that because it looked like the kind of game that my wife would really like because she loves those puzzle games. And if you haven't checked it out yet and you have access to it, you should because I had some fun playing it. You've got um, these different colored objects on the bottom of like a tree and you control Toad and Toad like runs back and forth because I wanted to test these. So I was trying it out with um, I, I wanted to test these controllers. So I was testing it out with a bunch of different games and you kind of run Toad back and forth and you pick up these objects in order to get the bombs to land on them of the same color. Uh, it's kind of cool. Very Dr. Mario ish or very, very, very much like Columns, which was an old Genesis game. Um, I, I recommend you check out Wario's Woods. I think that I like that better than Lolo, uh, although Lolo is a very cool puzzle game as well, although very, very much single player, it seemed like. Uh, but anyway, I think that these are awesome. And if you like playing old NES games at all, then I would recommend that you pick these up. And you can only pick them up if you are a, Nin a Nintendo Switch online subscriber. That's the only way that you can pick those up. And if you are interested, I put a link in the show notes that you can click on. It takes you to, to the uh, member exclusives so that you can order these, I think... I'm going to click on the uh, on the thing here and see if I can find the price. They are 60 bucks. comes with two of them. And to charge them, you just slide them onto the side of the switch and it'll charge them up. They do have, and if you're watching the video, I'm trying to show it to you now. They do have like a little down arrow that tells you, hey, this is the direction that you're supposed to put them in. So you end up putting them in or on the switch. Where's trying to look at it here like this so the the one that goes on the left side will have the d-pad on the top and the one that goes on the right side will have the d-pad on the bottom that's how that's how you charge them i think it's really cool and i'm happy that i got them both my wife and i playing last night we were like these controllers are great um because we were comparing them to the cheapo uh snes ripoffs that i have for our retro pie and this, is, these are a thousand times better for the kind of game that we were playing. So uh, if you've tried these out, let me know what you think of them. 